Hi everybody, it's Katie, the Crafty Blog Stalker, and for this week's tutorial, I am going to show how to turn those wood and chipboard letters that you can get at the craft store into beautiful home decor with just a little bit of paint. I've got four different techniques to show you. These are the letters that I am going to be um, painting and decorating and adding them to my uh, wall that I have in my kitchen. So we're going to do each letter a different way. We're going to start with this A right here. With this letter, what I want to do is like an ombre effect. So the main colors of my upstairs living area is yellow, blue, and gray. So for this letter, I'm going to do like an ombre white into yellow. So I'm going to use gesso. I was gonna use white acrylic paint, but as I was getting everything ready this morning, I realized I don't have any white acrylic paint. So I went into a little panic mode and decided I am just going to use this gesso. It'll, it'll be really cool, plus it'll add a little bit of, I'll be able to add a little bit of texture to the letter as well. So, I've got a spoon here, and I'm just gonna start with a big blob of paint, or gesso, rather. And I'm gonna start with the white on top and move down to the yellow. So I'm actually going to start just by painting um, a little bit of making sure to get my sides of my letter here. I'm just gonna begin by painting a little bit of that uh, white gesso just right on. Now what I want to do is add some yellow, but I don't wanna add a whole lot of yellow yet. So I'm just gonna add a couple drops. And I'm gonna take my spoon from earlier. Here, let's move that. And I'm just gonna mix it. And you can see it's a very light, light, light yellow. Maybe you can't even see the difference. It's pretty sub subtle difference. It almost just looks like a cream. So now I'm gonna take some of that and I want to make sure and overlap the other uh, part that I already painted there. So I don't wanna do this several times, so I'm gonna start that about right there. And just blending it and working it all together. And then I'm going to, you guessed it, add a little bit more yellow. Stir that up. And you'll see each time that we add a little bit more yellow, that yellow is just going to become a darker, um, more vibrant yellow. So we're just gonna keep painting this and then overlap that a little bit more. There is my A. So for this letter, I am going to use a paper plate again for my palette. And then I've got a dark blue because remember the colors of my kitchen are blue, yellow, and gray. So I've got a dark blue and then I've also got a metallic paint um, that we are going to put polka dots all over with this really cool just sponge dauber. So with this, this is a chipboard letter. It's not a wood letter. So I'm hoping I can do one coat of the blue, but I'm not sure, because I know that blue is gonna seep into the chipboard. So I might have to do two coats. I don't know yet. But I'm just gonna start with the edges. Letter, I love letters because they're personalized, but 
there's just so many fun things that you can do with letters. Oh, look at that pretty blue. And I am putting on a double coat of this, but I can like see it dry as I'm painting. So I'm not waiting really between coats. I'm just kind of going around and adding it again. I am totally infatuated now with this metallics paint. It's called Dazzling Metallics. It's by DecoArt. It is awesome and it really does look metallic-y and, and it, it is awesome paint. So I'm gonna put a little bit there on my template, my paper plate there. Okay, so for our purple polka dots, the key is you don't want, did I just say our purple polka dots? Our gold polka dots. You don't want a lot of paint on your dauber um, because it, it will goop up. You really just want a nice little circle. So I've got some paint on there and I'm gonna kind of dab it off. And I'm not gonna like go in any order. I'm just gonna go with random dots. I'm gonna put that down, kind of go in a circle motion and lift up straight. And I'm just gonna do that all over my letter. Okay, so there is my gold pop polka dotted A. For my next A, we are going to uh, just do a little paper mache. Um, and I'm just gonna paint the edges blue. And if it goes over the edge, that's okay. Um, because we're gonna cover it, so you won't be able to see it. Okay, so what we are going to do is go through this winter stacks. Um, paper stack that I had and find a blue that we want to go over. Let's see, I kind of like that one. I'm gonna tear it out. I like that blue. What we're gonna do is we're gonna trace that A onto this piece of paper and then I'm going to cut it out and um, and then just stick it on there with some Mod Podge and of course the foam brush. This is the front of my A. So I'm gonna put that face down on the paper and I've got the pattern that I want up. Um, I'm gonna put that face down and then I'm just gonna trace. So now I'm just going to cut that out and just go right inside of the line. There is my A and hopefully if I put it on the right side, it fits! Yay! It totally fits! I didn't goof it up or anything. Okay, so now we are basically just going to glue that on. <clears throat> so I've got some Mod Podge here. So I'm going to paint um, some of the Mod Podge, which is basically just glue. Just right all over the top of that letter. And then stick that letter down. I want to apply pressure everywhere so I get rid of like any bubbles or anything like that. And then I am just going to apply, <laughs> apply another layer of Mod Podge. Now this Mod Podge, it goes on white, but it will dry clear. And these globs here on the side, I'm just going to smooth those out too. And there is our A. So here is our letter. Now this letter is a wood letter. 
Um, but it came, it came like with this white paint sealant, I don't know what you want to call it, already on it. So um, this one's going to be a super simple letter. All we need for this is a Sharpie marker and a ruler. And a ruler is not really necessary. It's not like a must. Um, but I do want to have straight lines. So I'm going to start and I'm just going to draw a line um, along the end of the base of my letter. And I'm using a ruler just so it's straight. And my sharper, Sharpie is actually a dark blue Sharpie. It's not a black one. I love that Sharpies come in all different colors. <laughs> so there you can see my two lines. Now on this one, um, I'm going to have another line that's just gonna come up the center. So I wanna make sure that my ruler is where I want it to be. Draw a line like that. And now um, I'm going to draw, ooh, I don't want it to smudge or to smear, so I need to be careful. I'm going to draw another line right there. This is gonna be cute. Okay, and then I'm going to draw another line on this side. my outline on my A. So now I'm just gonna, these aren't going to be straight, um, but I'm just going to draw just lines on across to fill in this little space right here. Yay! Okay, that's super cute. Kind of like that one. Here's the one that we just did. Um, we just did this hand-drawn A onto this white wood letter. Um, then we did this blue and gold polka dotted letter. That one was a lot of fun. And that gold metallic paint is awesome. Then we did one with Mod Podge. We did this ombre letter. My letters are all done and I couldn't be more happy with how they all turn out. They are all so fun and just unique in their own little way. And of course, we've got the polka dot one too. So I want to thank you for joining me today. I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming tutorials, as well as visit me at my home base at thecraftyblogstalker.com where I have loads of tutorials that are sure to inspire and to get you crafting. So thanks so much for joining me today, everybody. Bye and happy crafting.